plans, and purposes in our lives, in the life of this ministry. We are citizens of the kingdom of God. We have what we say. We are doers of the word of God, not just hearers only. We are what the word of God, God says we have. And we can do what the word of God says we can do. Rafa has taken sickness and disease away from the midst of us. We have a sound mind and body. We are energized, revitalized, transformed, renewed, restored powerhouses for God. We curse at the root. Every sickness, disease, pain, virus, and infirmity that will try to attack us if we plead the blood of Jesus over our bodies. The healing power of God continually surrounds us, keeps us, and preserves our entire system. We are redeemed from death, poverty, and lack. Every household of cathedral is blessed and living under, under an open heaven. The blessing of the Lord makes us rich and adds no sorrow with it. We are increasing more and more, and wealth and riches are in our house. We are the head, not the table, above only and never beneath. The lender, not the borrower. We are sowing bountifully and reaping a bountiful harvest on every seed sown. We have strong marriages and families that are knitted together in love and rooted in the word of God. Wives are submitted to their own husbands as unto the Lord. And the husbands love their wives as Christ loves the church. Our youth fear the Lord and obey and honor their parents. We bind every demonic attack against our families and speak life, joy, love, and peace over our households. Cathedral of love and faith is prospering in everything it sets its hands to. We have a great work to accomplish. And we command finances and all, all resources to come forward now without delay. We call into everything prepared for us before the foundation of the world. All
apostles because we still here. Amen. Now that's coming straight from hell. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't this, hadn't even been in my mind or on my heart what I'm telling you now. But it's strictly by the Holy Ghost. And God saying, He has blessed you with another opportunity today. He's saying that time is running out. Time that was will be no more. Now is the time. Now is the day to serve the Lord. Let the Lord use you. He said, not only has he given you a new lease, a new year on life, but he's given you a new lease. He's given you a new lease. Yeah, he on borrow time. Yeah, he on borrow time. Church, listen to me. Young folk, listen to me. If you ever look at a picture where you see the, the day that person was born, that's the sunrise. And the day they left, that's the sunset. And in between a sunrise and a sunset, that's life. That's life. That's what life. That's life. Now the thing is, life is, is God's gift to you. Life is God's gift to us. Now, what we do with the gift of life is our gift back to God. And every time he get ready, he is the landlord. He is the landlord. He owns the house. We're just living on borrowed time. It's our building we're living in. It's not going to be here forever. It's corruptible. Come from dining us going back to bed. And we just living in it. This is our house. God let us use this house. While we here. While we live this life. And we live this life for him. Now listen, all this coming straight from heaven. And we live this life for him. Amen. Amen. Now, what he did, he gave us when every morning we wake up, he given us a new lease. Just for 24 hours, just for this day, he didn't give us a new lease today. And we ought to be saying, Lord, I thank you. The church ought to be full of people today that say, Lord, not only did you give me a new lease on life for, for the year, but you give me a new lease for the day. A new lease. I got, I got another opportunity. But the scriptures say, you've been bought with price. Your life is not true. Satan had to life, but Jesus paid the price to redeem you from Satan and get your life back. When he bought your life back, listen to this. When he bought your life back, guess what he did? He gave it back to you. Somebody say, it'll be all right. I'm 
Self, you know, we'd be in bad shape. If God treated us the way we treated him. <laughs> Amen. You know, he, he asks us to pray. He want to he wanna talk to us. And we don't have pray. We want to spend time with him the way he wants to spend time with us. He wants to, he want to tell us things that's in his word. But we won't pick the Bible up and let the Lord talk to us. Amen. Amen. And then he tell us to come out to the house of, of worship. And we'll come out sometimes and then sometimes we we'll won't. Amen. Amen. It's almost like we serve him when we want to. But glory be to God, we need to get back to the place. Apostle Paul said, I beseech you. I beg you, my brothers and my sisters. Because this life is faith fast. Yeah, this life is here for vapor. And listen, all of what you do for Christ is going to last. You know, and I think about how the Lord has blessed us, church. I remember being brought up in a, what, two or three bedroom, two or not a two or three bedroom, about a one or two bedroom house in a kitchen with about 12 or 15 people trying to stay in there. Amen. Amen. And, and, and you trying to keep the wind from coming through the cracks. Look down through the floors and see the chicken. Don't know when you, you know, you know God, he'd be good to us. I remember hearing people say he brought us all the way from Cadenzac to Cadenzac. And that's the truth. But I think the people serve the Lord more with the cotton sack than they don't with the cotton sack. <laughs> we got another year now. They even said I look to the hills from which comes my head. You can't pay a person to miss Mr. Bob job. They can be sick as a dog, they go to Mr. Bob's job, but when they come down and Mr. 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 Bob can't heal them at all. And if it come down to the church, huh? I go if I feel like Now who do you think we need to put first in our life? Mr. Bob, go. We need to get our priorities in line with you. We need to repent and tell the Lord I'm sorry for putting you on the back burner. Because Lord, you my provider. You my healer. You my everything. And we need to make up our mind Apostle Paul said I beseech you, brother, to offer up yourself. Don't, don't, don't have it be where the devil got to put a sickness on you. And then you say, well, if I get healed, I come to church. Don't let it be when you're, when you're on your way to jail, the devil got you in some mess, and then you say, well, now I want to go to church. I, I want to serve the Lord. Don't let it be when you're down on your luck, and, and then you want to say, I want to serve the Lord. Need to be where we can say, Lord, I save you while I got help. Lord, I save you while I got strength. Lord, use me. I understand my life is not mine. I understand it belongs to you. I've been born with a price. I'm a young man, Lord, use me to drive your van and pick up some elderly folks. I'm a young woman, Lord, use me to clean your church house, your house. I'm, I'm, I, Lord, I got help and strength. Lord, use me. Yeah, my life is not my own. To you 
forever, Lord. I, I offer myself to you. That's what God want to hear. God don't want to hear all them promises about people making resolutions. Lord, I want to be better. Lord, I want to do, you know, you know, Lord. Lord, I want to show me. Yeah, Lord, show me. Yeah, offer up yourself a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, under God. Church is so much work to be done in the church. So much work to be done outside the church. And God can give us all so many gifts and talents that we can use to witness to people. And, 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 and tell them about the goodness of the Lord and, and bring them out to the Bible class and, and it will change their life and people won't be going through what they're going through and you got young folks now talking about they want to commit suicide. They need somebody who knows Jesus that they can talk to. That's what we are, the body of Christ. We Jesus about him. Jesus ain't finna come back down here. Well, Jesus only you, me and you. Amen. We, we become his body. We become his feet when we get born again. Amen. We become his hands. We become his eyes. We see who need Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. We all got something that we can give to save the soul. A word of encouragement. So many people now uh, just need somebody to encourage. Amen. Just go by and tell them you can make it. Yes, yes, but the Lord, you got to let the Lord use. Amen. You got the Lord use. And the scripture tells us to be not conformed to this world. See, that's what the problem is. Ain't that right? Yes, 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 right. We got too many church folks who want to be like the world. Amen. 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 But the scriptures say, Paul said, but we don't be, be like the world, but be ye transformed. Yes. Just because the world ain't going to church don't mean you follow the world. You bring the world to church. Yes. Just because the world living right, that don't mean you follow the world. Come on now, you live right. You said it, Lord, then they gonna follow you. But be ye conformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. Somebody said, get your mind right. Get your mind right. With the, how you gonna get your mind right? With the word of God. With the word of God. Let the word of God the scriptures say that if you study this word of God, you're going to know the truth. And the truth is going to what? Make you free. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, you're going to know the truth. And the truth is going to make you free. But listen, this year, let's not just make a resolution and don't keep it. Amen. Let's not make a commitment and not keep it. Amen. But let's make some commitments to do better and do better. Amen. 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 Not only by just coming to church, but about letting the Lord use you. Amen. Somebody say working in the church. Working in the church. Finding out what the will of the Lord is for your life. And carrying it out. Now listen to this. Job said in, in verse 36 and 11. When we're going on. Yeah, look at Job. 
36 and 11. Praise. Yeah. Yeah, 36 and 11. Job said, Tell them if they obey him and serve him, they should spend their days in prosperity and their years in plenty. Somebody said, That's a word. That's a word for 2017.